Well, evening, everyone. Uh, you join me down at Sandhurst Lake. Um, I had a session on here back in January and of this year, and the lake froze overnight. So Nick, uh, the head bailiff here and manager, um, put the session on hold for me, uh, which I totally forgot about until it was probably, I think, the, I think it was last week actually. Uh, this is the 11th, 12th, 13th. So I've got 48 hours and thought I'd use it because I had to use it before the end of the year. So we got down here and we're on car park swim, as you can see behind me. So we've got a lovely southerly wind blowing down. It's actually quite mild. It's been very cold, as you'll all know. And it's actually gone really quite mild. It's shown at about 8 degrees at the minute. Um, with a southerly blowing into the car park, which is obviously the shallower end of the lake. It's been fishing relatively hard. So, not really optimistic of a fish, shall we say. Um, so, but I've got to use the 48 hours up, otherwise I'm going to lose it. So, we're, you know, I'm down in this area, so I thought we would obviously utilise that. So we've got two rods on, on two spots, one in the silt depression, which everybody seems to go for, is there's nobody on pipes, somebody on bailiff, somebody on 10 and 11, um, which is obviously up at the deeper end of the lake, but there's nobody down here. So it's warmed up today. And I think it's to be pretty warm, well not pretty warm, but it's to be warmer over the next couple of days with the pressure to drop below the thousand mark. So I've not put really much bait out just put two singles out and uh, yeah just debating on what to do with the third rod um, but we shall see so I'll, I'll go back in the bivvy so if you excuse all this performance with with the bivvy while I come back in here so yeah so I've, I've this is only really the second time that I've that I fished Santa so not a lake that I've, I know very well while I get this tripod sorted out in the old bivvy. There we go. Um, so I've got the heater on already, uh, warming up the hands because the hands got really, really numb there. Had to wait, absolutely down lashed um, with rain um, and then the wind got really quite quite up just as I was setting up. So I managed to get the bivvy up and the bed chair in and everything, got the rods out and just waited for that to settle down. No point in getting wet, eh, for no reason. So yeah, first blog I've done on Sandhurst because I didn't do one because it only lasted a night and I actually lost a fish last time I was here. Managed to get on pipes the last time I was here. Uh, Leon was in on car park and a couple of my mates were on on the uh, on the the road bank. I don't know what that bank's called. I think they were on peg seven and eight uh, the last time that that I was here. So let me get this sorted out. So going to do a live, um, going to do a live feed tonight. Seems to be it's my normal Wednesday live feed. So basically, I put out my Ronnie, I've put two Ronnie rigs out. One with an 11 mil proper job, um, yellow 11 mil, yeah, and the the middle rod I've put on a. On a, on a black beauty which is a pineapple and I can never get this right Enbu Enbutratic whatever it is I don't know you know what I'm saying so yeah so it's like I say that it, it, the wind isn't too bad um, it's died down a little bit now but it's blowing right into this place so it's like a southerly coming into me um, or just to the right so it's probably a southeasterly something like that but because it's to, to get a little bit warmer, I'm hoping the fish are going to come. It's a new wind, so I'm hoping the fish are going to come down and uh, get on. Not the best weather conditions, but I'm hopefully they're going to come down on a new wind. Like I say, it's been fishing pretty hard, as everywhere is at the minute. So, there's only, I think, three other people on. Like I said, and they seem to be further up, up the way. So, you know, you never know. Uh, it's not a bad wind to swim water will probably heat up a little bit quicker down here than it will down the deeper end. Obviously Sanders has got pretty good winter form with it being quite shallow but it freezes very quickly from what I know and from what I've seen. So yeah, so we're all set up. Got two rods out. I'll just wait to see what I'm going to do with the third one. 
and then uh, we'll get that one out. Uh, there's no rush. Um, I've got my bivvy kind of side on, which is not ideal um, because I can't really see the water, but I don't want to be, I'd rather be comfortable. Um, there's nothing really showing, nothing really showing. I was speaking to one of the bailiffs um, when I got here, I was obviously looking for my ticket and uh, he was saying nothing's been showing really all day. You know, I think there's been one fish out in what, three weeks, two, two, three weeks. It was frozen on on Monday, um, but the ripple in the wind has kind of got rid of the ice, just a thin layer of ice. So I'm hoping, like I say, I'm at the shallow end, so at the end of the day, you've got to be in it to win it, haven't you? So that's where I am this week, and uh, I shall come back to you a little bit later on. I'm going to heat up and I'll get the kettle on, I think. And, uh, yeah, I'll come back to you in a bit. Cheers and bye-bye. Well, evening, everybody. Or should I say, early morning. It is half past two in the morning. And I am wide awake. I am. Got my little heater on as it's, uh, there's a chill in the air. The wind's kind of changed a bit. It's gone uh, to like a, a, a southeasterly now, um, but it's it's quite blowy. Um, there's little gusts coming every now and again, and it's very very quiet. Um, I was getting a few liners earlier on, but they've kind of disappeared now. And, uh, yeah, it's looking a bit dismal here. I'm going to get up. Once I've done this update, I'm going to get up and, and, uh, and, and get up early and go for a little walk before, before I leave in the morning. And uh, possible change of swim. I don't know whether I made the right choice or not. And, uh, yeah. I'm feeling a little bit dejected at the minute. Um, I made the choice, as I said earlier, due to what the weather was doing when I got here. And, uh, it'll be, it had been quite mild. It's the shallower end of the lake, as I said before, so I thought, you know, with it, with it getting a little bit mild in temperature after, after it being quite cold, I thought the fish might, might come into the shallower end of the lake and but, yeah, it's looking to be the wrong decision at the minute. But we all make those decisions, don't we? Um, luckily enough for me, um, the lake isn't that busy. So if I want to move, I'm, I'm, I can move um, up to the deeper end, uh, about peg, around about peg 19 or, or bail if, it, if it's free. Um, I'm kind of be on the back of the wind then, or up this kind of road bank where it goes from like, I don't know, is it peg 2 to, to, to 11 all the way up? Somebody's in 11, which is obviously one of the going swims on here. Uh, I think there's somebody in pipes as well. Um, and then there's somebody, there's, there's a couple on the island as well, so I'll have a look in the morning um, before I leave, but yeah. Feeling a bit deflated at the minute. Having said that, you know, it's hard going at the minute and everywhere, so I don't know why. I should be feeling deflated, but I need to remember to bring some water with me tomorrow as I've got no water, so I can't even have a cup of coffee or a milk. Mm. I had a banging Domino's pizza for my dinner. I didn't bring any food with me either. I'm not very well prepared. <laughs> so, yeah. So, did the did the live feed last night, uh, which is I enjoy doing them on the bank. Um, it passes the time. You know, I think that was that was oh, what, Christ over an hour and a half anyway, an hour and forty minutes, something like that. So it's really good. Um, like I say, it's not a, a q and I ain't a good enough angler for a Q&A. Um, 
and I just, it's just a general chit chat, isn't it? You know what I mean? Everybody talking to each other, so to speak. While I'm talking away, you can see people talking to other people on there. Uh, like I said before, it seems to be that we used to go to the pub um, as, as males and uh, talk about all that sort of stuff, but now we, we do it from the comfort of our own home, don't we? So I enjoyed that. Um, ugh, but I'd enjoy it even more if I caught a fish. Uh, so yeah, got my got my little heater on. This is the, the heater that I use. That's it there. Um, I think it's called the Parabolic heater or something like that. I'll put a little link below um, for what they are. Yeah. Also going to put a little link for the prop job pop-ups because I'm getting asked a lot about them now uh, since I mentioned them. So uh, especially if you're in winter when you're looking to use a, a small a small boilie, so to speak. I, I don't scale. I, I generally use them all year, but I don't scale down my hook size or anything like that. Um, and the little 11 mils ultra buoyant, they'll, uh, they'll 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 keep a size two up for months. Put it that way. So yeah. So I'll put a little link up to their website as well. Um, so yeah. So it was really a little an update. Of, well, not even an update because I've, I've caught fackle. Um, so I thought I'd talk to somebody. Seeing as I'm sitting here at two o'clock in the morning, half two in the morning, wide awake, and, and, and kind of wondering what the hell to do so what's the best thing for a blogger to do that's right talk to his camera my little friend so at least it's stopped raining now an important thing about these heaters is if, if you have them on in your bivvy um, keep a little ventilation I've got a little bit of ventilation here because otherwise you'll die plain and simple because, as I've said before, and as a few other people have said before, it will suck all the oxygen out of the air, and you'll get carbon monoxide poisoning. So, always, always leave a little letterbox um, at the top where the oxygen can get in. Um, no matter whether you're sitting up or what, just in case you fall asleep or whatever. Uh, generally, if I'm feeling tired, then I'll just get in my bag and I'll go to sleep. Uh, it's long old nights when you went to fishing. So, most important, most important is to, to keep that little opening so that you, you, you don't die. Um, but yeah, so I don't think any fish have been out. I think there's been one fish out in the past, what, three weeks? So, as you can hear, I rattle, 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 rattle. So it is, you know, it is quite windy. There's gusts coming up. Uh, I don't think I'm going to catch a fish. I don't. But you got to be in it to win it. And the uh, tug is the drug, as they say. Hashtag tug is the drug. So, um, yeah. But I don't think I'm going to catch one. And I think I know that. Which, when you're fishing, when you're caught fishing, is a horrible feeling. A horrible feeling. It really is. But you never know. The fish, they've got fins and they swim. You never know. But if I catch one, I'll be very, very surprised. <laughs> very, very surprised. In fact, if I catch one, I'll be blown away. But we shall see. So we're going to try and get the drone up tomorrow. There is a, I think, there's an airfield a bit further away from what Nick was saying. But we're going to try and get the drone up tomorrow, depending on the wind. Uh, see if we can get some overhead footage. Will probably be the highlight of this blog. But like I say, you never know. You got to be in it to win it, aren't you? So yeah. So I'll sign off and I'll uh, give you an update in the morning before I leave. Okay, nighty night, everybody. Bye.
update from the earlier morning update and the update is I still ain't caught fish uh, went up, got up this morning for a, and had a walk round uh, just before first light uh, there's a boy, there's only actually two other anglers on after the walk round there's a boy on pipes and a boy on Peggy Levin, Simon um, neither of them have had anything either not seen a fish um, so, and it, it, it's really weird because when you go up to the other end of the lake I'm just going to have a jaffa cake or two, maybe three uh, when you go up to the other end away from the wind it's actually colder with no wind on you which I find really strange wow I don't think I'm going to move because there's nothing really to move for and obviously obviously this peg has got has got winter form you know what I mean wow if I'd seen fish I would, I, I would definitely move before I went about my daily business but there's nothing to move for, I don't think. Don't I was speaking to one of the boys, Simon. It's been fishing really weird for months. Um, the odd fish coming out, you know, I think the last. Three Jaffa cakes were too good on their own, so I'm going to have three more. Um, those three, sorry, the, the, the last big hit was when the big gale force winds were here, and they seemed to push them down into this corner. And this is when people in this corner and this on the car box when had a few fish, so I don't know. Things are. Yeah, there's one of them things. So I definitely think a blankety blank is on the car here. When you're walking out, my hands are bloody freezing. They are absolutely freezing. I mean, like I say, when you're out of the wind, it, it, it's even colder. You know, that wind isn't it too bad. But there's nobody fishing in the bay to the right of me here. So I think when I go back, if there's no one there still, I'm going to put a solid bag in there. I think. And then I'm going to put two out on, on the spot where I've been fishing. And I'm going to go to the Diamond White. Alright? So yes, yeah, so nothing to report, no fish, sorry about that, and uh, I'll come to you when I get back, okay, adios, bye bye. Well evening all, it's the last night, and the weather's changed a little bit, um, it's, it's dropped right down with the wind, so it's looking a little bit more promising. <clears throat> Time is four o'clock. Um, it seems to be a little bit lighter as well. I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know whether it's just me. I, I thought it generally went dark about this time, but it seems to be a bit, little bit lighter. So I've taken the gamble and I've spotted out um, a load of hemp, whole boily, chopped boily, a cell that's been glugged and condensed milk as you know it's kind of my favourite with that um, and all that so I've, I've, I've probably put out about 20 spums and I'm fishing right tight 
on, on, on two rods now, really tight on a, on a, on a spot. Um, so I found, I found the spot. Um, why do I keep saying spot all the time? I found it, the area, again, like I said before, you know, you know 16 and a half wraps um, towards two, two trees on, on the far mark, two big, big bushes in the, in the background. And it went down with a nice, kind of, nice wee dollop. So it wasn't in silt, but it wasn't rock hard gravel either. So I feel as if I'm fishing now, um, rather than last night was a bit of a rush uh, with the rain and everything. So I, f I feel as if I'm fishing now, which is always good. So yeah, so I put about 20 spawns of, of that mixture out. Um, like I say, 18 mil holes cell. Um, crushed cell, 15 mil cell, um, and and some hemp as well, power particle, all glugged up in in the condensed milk. Probably two tens of condensed milk in that, and, and yeah, because nothing was happening on anything else, so that's what I've done. I've taken the gamble tonight and see because the weather's like I say, it's kind of kind of. The wind's really dropped. It's still there's still a ripple on the wall, but it's dropped. It's not nowhere, nowhere near as as harsh as it was before. Went for a walk around this morning, as I said, and, and saw absolutely nothing. Um, so I know the last fish out was up the other end, but that was what, two weeks ago, I think, a week, two weeks ago, something like that, from what I've been told. Um, and they've been coming out very sporadically. Um, so yeah. I definitely think of blankety blanks on the on the horizon here, but you never know. Um, I've got one on my my my, my double overed chod filament, um, so it's like a stiff hinge. But I've got I've got it on a on an end trap soft boom section, and then um, yeah. So my ridge monk is playing up a little bit here. Um, so we'll see, hopefully that might have, might, might stir something up so to speak, um, but we shall see. So yeah, so I'm off in the morning, so if I don't get anything, oh there's a little robin there, a little, little robin. Um, so I'll give you an update before I leave in the morning. See if, if obviously if nothing's happened during the night, but because I think it's going to be a fairly short blog um, and a blank one at that. Okie dokie, so I'll catch you all later. Bye bye. Well, evening everyone. It's uh, I think it's about half four in the morning on Friday morning, and uh, I just can't sleep. Not since half two. some pretty devastating, well not devastating but well, yeah, possibly could be devastating news today. Um, so yeah, so um, yeah, can't sleep. Um, I lost one last night uh, from a solid bag. Pull it on for about five minutes, and then, then just thing just pulled. Um, I was a stupid fault. I uh, didn't do the drop off probably on the lead, so the lead didn't he, didn't he drop. And it's um, obviously you really need the. Uh, a bit better. Yeah, that's a bit better. Uh, you need the lead to drop off, so no stupid mistake really. So yeah, so um, the news just today kind of puts everything in, in perspective really. Um, it's something that you're not wanting to hear really when you're away. But I'm not going to go too much into it, but until, until now for sure, but it is what it is. Yeah, I'm not going to 
talk about because I'm going to start crying. Oh man. Yeah. Um, so anyway, so it's kind of it's good. It's a bit milder than what it has been. Um, it rained probably about an hour ago, something like that. Um, and it was just a quick downpour, nothing much. But but that water is absolutely freezing. And I was spumming, spumming out earlier on. When I got back and uh, obviously went to wash my hands in the water, it's absolutely, it, it's Baltic. It really is Baltic. Obviously the uh, the lake the lake froze at the beginning of the week, um, so you've got all that obviously that cold ice going in there. Um, and then when I got here um, on the Wednesday, I absolutely lashed it down, uh, which was really cold. So I'm just filling up with vape, e sick. But yeah, I was hoping, hoping the cold gods would like look, look after me. Um, and obviously they did, and I lost it through my own bloody daft fault. Um, which is so, so annoying. But, you know, because obviously at this time of year, as you know, chances don't come f few and far between, really. And, uh, and I got a chance and I messed it up. I did, I messed it up. My head wasn't quite on it when I was putting everything together and getting out there. So, yeah. But it's only a fish, isn't it? The more important things in life, as I'm finding out, the more important things in life is only fish. It's only a fish. It is. say, my head's so in another place, it's unbelievable, so in another place, it is, I think next week is, um, I don't even know whether I'm going to be out next week, um, I don't, because of what I got told today, so I don't, I, I, I just don't know, my head's, my head's not right, my head really isn't right. So I'm sorry if this is coming across as it's depressing and to put people to sleep as they say, but but yeah, so that that's the update anyway. Um, nothing to update by me being a fanny and not doing things as I should, but but yeah. Probably hear the bullheads in the background chatting away to themselves and scrapping. I don't understand the point of the moorhens fighting because they don't they don't seem to um, they don't seem to really fight half the time. You know what I mean? They'll fly halfway across the lake and then they just sit there looking at each other. I don't see the point in that, but I'm not a moorhen, am I? So I wouldn't see the point in it. He probably doesn't see the point in me fucking sitting here blanking my arse off. <laughs> yeah, probably that's what they're talking about. But the lake is crystal clear. Crystal, crystal clear. It is. And probably because of obviously how cold the water is. Um, it's gin clear. And, uh, no, I think that's hurting. Uh, my presentation or anything, and I think my presentation is quite good. Um, I have had a couple of bleeps, but I don't know whether it's fish in the area or what. But you know, we've still got a chance, haven't we? Still got a chance. So, uh, so yeah. 
So I'll give you a little update before I leave. There's a wire. I'll be very tired tomorrow. Um, and, uh, yeah, over and out from a uh, very damn penguin. Okay? See you all later. Bye bye. Good morning, everyone. It's the last morning. A little bit tired. I've not managed to get back to sleep from, from the last update about half four. So, uh, yeah. After losing that one last night to uh, add insult to injury, I've just caught a back in Tufty. Mechanics of the rig are working spot on, right in the middle of the bottom beak, um, nailed as they say, <laughs> absolutely nailed. Um, but at least I know the rigs are working. <laughs> but yeah, so it's going to be a wet pack down as it's uh, on and off rained all during the night really um, but yeah it's I've not fished the best to be fair I've not I've been lazy um, uh, and I, I don't know it was the same this time last year I, I, it's just it, it's just it's just hard now I've been doing this all year and uh, well virtually all year so it's just uh, it's just it's just tough now. I'm getting lazy. The reason why I lost the fish was my own fault through being laziness and not checking something. Um, but yeah, just one of them things. And it would have been nice to have caught one. That would have been my first landed um, Sandhurst call. That's two visits and two lost fish. So. Yeah, I'm not a happy penguin. I'm not a happy penguin. I'm not. Right at the minute. Um, I'm, I'm struggling. I'm struggling in winter. Really, I'm having said that. I mean, I had that 30 not long back from Willow Port, didn't I? So I can't really complain. You know what I mean? I can't. Um, yeah. So. That's the end of this one. It's been a pleasure as always. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens next week. Eh? Yes. So thank you for watching. And uh, I shall catch you all later. Thank you very much. Take care. And if you're out on the bank, tight lines. Adios, everybody.